YouTube Shorts channels are cashing out. This channel, for example, has hundreds of millions of views and is making thousands of dollars every month on autopilot. And the best part is, all of their content is made by AI, meaning whoever owns this channel doesn't have to show their face, and the video scripts, edits, and titles are all entirely generated by artificial intelligence. I'll show you an example of one of their most viral videos. But before you judge, just remember how much money they're making from this. I can say this confidently because I've personally made thousands of dollars from my own YouTube Shorts channel that only has about one tenth of the total number of views that this channel has. Today, I'll be showing you how to recreate 100 of these viral YouTube Shorts using just three tools in less than 12 minutes. That way, you can replicate this entire operation and achieve similar results. With that, let's dive in. Step one, the first tool we're going to use is ChatGPT. You're going to sign up for a basic account and once you're logged in, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. We're going to be asking ChatGPT to make all the text copy for our 100 viral videos. I'm even going to be putting some of my own secret sauce into this prompt to make sure we get some really viral topic ideas. So first, I'll come back to the example channel and just click on some of their most popular shorts. That way, we can get a sense of what's really working. Now, I'll come back to ChatGPT and tell it that I want it to come up with a title followed by three points for each title. And I'm going to actually give it an example. So after I've given it the example, ChatGPT will respond with its first attempt. It's not bad, but I think that we can make these a lot catchier. Because right now, these feel a little bit too specific. We want our titles to be as relatable as possible, meaning they're going to apply to everyone who watches them. If we can do this well, then we're going to be able to retain our viewers for as long as possible, which is the most important metric when it comes to the YouTube Shorts algorithm. So here, I'm going to coach ChatGPT that I want the titles to be a bit more catchy and relatable, such as tips that might save your life. I'm actually going to tell it to not be so specific like the examples that they gave above. This next batch that ChatGPT came up with feels a lot better. And I'm going to tell it, good job. Think of ChatGPT like a pet that you're trying to train. You want to be giving it positive feedback when it does a good job so it learns what you like and what you expect. Next, we're going to ask it to create 25 of these that are all themed around safety, friendships, dating advice, and heartbreak. Once you click enter, you can see this thing live in action and start making our first 25 posts. And now we have a very important step that you cannot skip if you want this to work. This step is going to help us automate this entire process later on in the video. You're going to need to ask ChatGPT to categorize these all in an Excel spreadsheet style. You can ask it to do up to 25 at a time. And to get to 100, obviously you're going to need to do this four times, but I'll just fast forward through this. Step two is to copy and paste all of our sections over into an Excel or Google Sheets document. And by the way, there's going to be a lot of copy and paste in this video, but still probably nowhere close to as much as you did on your homework in high school. So now we have 100 lines of viral content all ready to go in this Excel doc entirely generated by artificial intelligence. But before you move on to step three, we need to understand a little bit more about the YouTube Shorts algorithm. As I mentioned earlier, the most important metric is watch time. So I'm gonna show you a few ways that we can actually trick the algorithm into giving us more watch time. The first way to do this is to get more comments. When someone comments on a YouTube Short, the video continues to play in the background. That signals that our average view duration is top G. You can get more people to comment by writing a question in the caption or including a point that is so outrageous that people will add funny opinionated comments. Let's be honest, we've all argued with someone in the comment sections or scrolled through looking for other funny comments. And if you're able to get these to happen on your video, now those comments are actually going to start helping your average view duration and organically boost your content further within the algorithm. So make sure to keep that in mind as we move on to step three. Now we'll come back into Canva and create 
create our viral videos. On the home page, you can just click on mobile video. On the left hand side, there's a template section where you can search for the style of video that you want. In our case, we'll just choose this one because it looks most like the sample videos. Now, we're gonna create a bold title at the top of the video and then a few smaller sections for some of the points. We can just drag over one of our viral posts from the Excel spreadsheet just to see how this looks. You'll wanna make sure that the title is centralized and that the points are well aligned. You can also dim the background so that the text really contrasts by playing with some of the filters under edit image. But in case you still think it's too difficult to read, we can actually add a background to each of the quotes by clicking on the text and then adding a background. Let's take a second to really evaluate this. This title is super relatable, which is why it's such viral content. Now anyone who's ever gone through a breakup is gonna stop and read this. We're gonna intentionally keep the video just seven seconds long so that people will be unable to finish reading each point by the time the video is over. That's gonna cause them to watch it again, which again, signals to the algorithm that our video is a viral banger. Step four is to make all 100 of these as fast as possible. Don't worry though, we're not gonna have to go through this 100 times. I'm gonna show you how to use AI to auto-populate all the lines from our Excel spreadsheet straight into our Canva videos. Sounds like magic, right? To do this, just come to apps in the lower left-hand side of your Canva platform. We're gonna search for Bolt Create. Then click enter manually, and now go back to your Excel spreadsheet and just copy over those first 25 lines. Then we can just come back to Canva and relive our high school days by just clicking paste on the spreadsheet. Next, we're gonna be connecting the elements of our video back to the elements of the spreadsheet. To do this, right-click on the text in the video and go to Connect Data on the drop-down menu. Then just select the title and each of the points so AI can auto-populate these in bulk. Once all the components on the left have a purple check next to them, we can hit continue and generate our first 25 videos. And voila, now we have our first batch ready to go. The only problem is that all of these videos have the exact same background, but that's an easy fix too. We just need to go back to the menu on the left hand side and select video. Here, we can sift through all sorts of other video footage that would match the vibe that we're looking for. After you've swapped out your background videos, now your footage is done and we can export them separately, but we're not entirely done yet. Another easy way to increase your virality is to look for viral audios. Now, you used to have to get a license and not really be able to use a good song on your shorts if you wanted to get monetized, but not so long ago, YouTube changed their model. And for once, it's good news. Now, you have the option to actually use good songs. If you click the add music button, a huge list of well-known artists will appear in the creator music tool. However, you should be aware that the music is still copyrighted music, so you'll be sharing the revenue that the video earns with whoever owns that music. You can read more about this in this article for yourself, but personally, I would rather use a really catchy song that helps me go viral than just get a few views with some boring song that no one really knows. The nice thing is, you can actually schedule uploads on YouTube Shorts, so that way you don't have to worry about publishing one every single day. It's also important to note that the YouTube Shorts algorithm is very different from other social media platforms. That's why stuff like this works on YouTube Shorts, but doesn't work on Instagram or TikTok. And likewise, the content that we see go viral on Instagram doesn't end up getting as many views on YouTube Shorts. I'll be doing step-by-step -step walkthroughs on content like this for Instagram in the future, but I do think that's an important thing to be aware of as we're creating our content. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I've personally made thousands of dollars from YouTube Shorts and would recommend posting two YouTube Shorts per day until you have some decent viewership traction. Once in the morning time, wherever your target audience is based, and once in the evening time of wherever your target audience is based. That way, those people will have a chance of seeing it while they're bored at work and also before bed when they're scrolling. I do feel obligated to mention a major disclaimer in this video. If your plan is to try to start a Shorts channel and then later transition transition it into a normal YouTube long form content channel, trust me, don't waste your time. I've tried it and I talked about it in another video recently where you can see hundreds of other big creators who all had the same dead end as me. This is because YouTube Shorts attracts an audience of people with short attention spans who will not usually end up watching your long form YouTube content. I just wanna re-mention that so you don't waste a bunch of time trying something that doesn't work. If you're lazy and you don't feel like coaching ChatGPT yourself, 
and you just want a copy of my conversation earlier, just comment something that you like about my channel below and make sure to drop your email below that comment and I'll just send it to you directly. I have another good one teed up for next week, so stay tuned and thanks for watching guys.